So there are a few ways how we can control the spacing between our elements. The most frequently used one is margin and padding. So let's see how that works. Let's scroll down on our about page and go to this quote right here. Now let's select this container and then to control the spacing, let's go to the advanced tab. And here we can see under layout, we have margin and we have padding. By changing these values, it allows us to add space to the top, right, bottom and left of our container. But what is the difference between margin and padding? To understand the difference, I have this illustration right here. Now here in the center, we have our content element. In our case, this is our container. And then in green, we have the border around our element. Now, when we add padding, it will add space between the content element and the border of our element. So inside of the border. And if we add margin, it will add space outside of the border. So here for our container, we can see that we have 90 pixels as padding for the top, which is this area right here. And then we have 100 pixels here for the bottom. Now, when we add more pixels to the top, we can see that the area in, on the top of the text will increase. So we have more padding right here inside of the border. Now, let's put this back to 90 and let's see what happens when we add margin instead. Now let's first unlink these values so we can control them individually. And then let's start adding margin to the top of our container. And here we can see that the spacing will be added outside of our border. Now let's put this back to zero. And then let's say we want to decrease the space between this text element and this button right here. So to do this, we could either just decrease the space below this text or we could decrease it above this button. It looks here like the space has been added to the top of the button right here. So I'm gonna select the button element and then to control the spacing, we're gonna go to the advanced tab again. And here we can see that there are 25 pixels added to the top of this button. Now to put this button a bit closer to this text, all you have to do is decrease the margin value here. So I can just decrease it maybe by let's say 10 pixels and this will put the button closer to this text. Something to keep in mind is that oftentimes you don't really notice the difference between adding margin or adding padding because you don't really see the border on the actual website. For example, for this button right here, we could also just add padding by unlinking these values and then adding padding to the top right here. And as you can see, the effect is the same as if you were just to add more margin. And that's because we don't see the border on the actual website. Now for the entire container, we do actually notice the difference but to, because the background image here is only inside of the border. So if we add margin, then the margin will be added outside. So the white background gets larger here. But if we add the um, padding, then we can see that the background image actually gets larger because we add spacing inside of the border where the image is displayed. Now, another very simple way how we can control the spacing between elements is to simply add a spacer element. So we go to the elements by clicking on the nine dots here, and then we look for the spacer, which is right here. We can just click, hold and drag into the area where we want to add space, for example, between the heading and the text element. And then this element would automatically add some space Currently, it's 50 pixels, as we can see here. And to increase the space, we can just drag the slider to the right or we can drag it to the left to decrease the space in this spacer element. Then we have one more way how we can control spacing. Let's scroll all the way up to the top of the page and then select this top container. Then here we can see that the space between the top and the bottom of this container is actually defined by this minimum height slider. So here it's set to 600 pixels and we can decrease or increase the minimum height, which will also control the spacing between the top and the bottom of this container.